Coming up next week in Brussels, a no summer holiday hangover for the parliament as MEPs get back to work with hearings on the emission testing scandal, discuss next steps for the EU vis-a-vis -vis Brexit and financing the European project. Welcome to the agenda. A former commissioner has, albeit indirectly, laid the blame on car manufacturers. But now, as more and more members of the former Barroso Commission take the floor of the investigative committee, will MEPs now lay the blame at their door? Former European Commissioner for Enterprise and Industry, Gunter Verheugen, said this week at the Emission Measurements in the Automotive Sector, or EMIS Committee, that EU laws were clear on rules for defeat devices, but disregarded by manufacturers. MEPs will now talk to the former Environment Commissioner, Yanis Potochnik, and the former Commission Vice President, Antonio Tajani, responsible for industry. Money makes the world go round, and in the case of the European Union, it needs quite a bit of it. So finding ways to finance itself are hugely important. Over due days, MEPs and members of national parliaments will debate how to put own resources to better use, better integration and cooperation of EU and national budgets. Opening and closing statements will be made by EP President Martin Schulz and Commission President Juncker. And now for some news in brief. Two votes will take place at the Civil Liberties Committee on Visa Liberalisation for potential EU members, Georgia and Kosovo, on Monday. Creative Europe is the European Commission's almost 1.5 billion euro programme to help creative and audiovisual sectors. Members of the Culture Committee will discuss a study on the impact of the programme so far and will then consider launching their own report which would contain recommendations to the Commission. On Monday, the Constitutional Committee votes to renew the membership of three members of the Court of Auditors. The result of the UK referendum was unexpected and the consequences are still not quite clear. But where potentially does the EU and the UK stand on Brexit? On Monday, the Constitutional Affairs Committee will delve into the big questions and hurdles ahead of the soon-to-be 27-member state bloc. And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.